Good afternoon and welcome to Meditate with Marie. This is Mindfulness Mondays and this is our 10th practice. If you're practicing with me in real time, it is a very nice and relaxed August bank holiday afternoon. If you're practicing with me today, be it now or later on, or at some point in the future, I would like to thank you for your presence here and thank you for sharing this practice with me. Today we're going to be um, practicing a beautiful candle gazing meditation called Tritaka in the yogic tradition. Um, you don't necessarily need to do this with a candle, you can do it with anything else. It's essentially where we softly focus our gaze on a fixed point. In this case, it's going to be um, the point of a flame. So feel free to pause the video, go grab a candle and then come back. Um, if not, you're welcome to just use mine. Fingers crossed, I have got it set up in a position where you can see it, whether you're joining me on Instagram or Facebook. I've got two different devices, slightly different camera angles, but facing the same thing. And then whenever you're ready, we will just prepare ourselves to begin. It's just a short practice. Um, you are, of course, welcome to stay a little while longer after the video has ended if you want to carry on or just use this as a almost like a starter to your main course of a deeper or different meditation if you would like. So I invite you to make yourself comfy. I have got a very nice little cushion that I'm going to sit on. Um, so if you maybe like to sit on a cushion or a chair or whatever, whatever's going to make you comfortable. Um, ideally, when we practice Tushaka, we like the candle to be round about eye level. Um, if you've got a different item, maybe just bring it up to round about eye level. So it can take a moment to set you up. But whenever you get there, just give yourself permission to arrive and to land in this present moment. So ideally we'd like the spine a little bit straight and lengthened, but so that you can softly relax the shoulders and the face too. So it's an upright position, but without force or strain. See if you can find some ease. And if you need to take a little bit of movement through the shoulders or the neck, please do. Take your time and just set yourself up. Well, you're good to go for the next five to 10 minutes. Becoming aware of your breath, just allow yourself to breathe in and out consciously with that awareness on the breath. Lovingly give yourself permission to let go of all moments that have come before this one. So just gently letting go of the past. And just allow yourself to put aside any thoughts of the future. Just let that go and allow yourself to be here now, in this moment. And just become aware of your body. Just see if you can find a little bit of a softness, beginning to let go of anywhere that feels tense. See if you can soften. And if you have a candle with you, I invite you to light it now. So I like to light mine with matches. Continue to focus on the breath while you light your candle. Maybe setting an intention as you do so. Mine is just gonna be to enjoy this practice. So there you go. So if you've lit your candle, just allow yourself to come to your comfortable position, focusing on the breath, softening through the face. And then we're just gonna take our drishti, our gaze with the eyes to the flame of the candle. Now, some people like to look at the very tip. I like to look right in the center, just above the wick. There's like a little, central section to the candle. I'm just going to gaze at that. So just allowing any thoughts to come and go and ideally we are going to steadily gaze and focus on this one 
concentrated point without blinking. But we don't want to cause any kind of strain. And of course, if you do need to blink, go ahead. And remember, this is a practice. It's not a perfection. So we're just gazing at a fixed point within the flame. Trying not to blink. And then just trying not to tempt the body either. So traditionally, this is a cleansing practice. This will cleanse the eyes, but help to cleanse the mind. So keep gazing at the flame until you reach the point where you feel like the eyes are beginning to want to just water a little or close. You'll know when you reach that point. Now, I can hold this a little bit longer because I'm a little bit more practiced, but for the sake of keeping this video short and sweet, I am just going to pretend I've reached that point now and allow my eyes to gently close. So as the eyes close, just picture that flame in your mind. You might even see an image of it in your mind. And see if you can bring the image of that flame to your third eye, which is just between the brow. Now this is awesome, right now I can very clearly see that candle in my mind. And then from here we just gaze inwardly at that internal image. Holding it for as long as we can and just noticing if it moves around in the mind. And if it disappears from the mind, we gently blink the eyes open and we focus once again at the flame. Choose that fixed point and steadily gaze at it, softening through the body once again. And don't forget to breathe. So you might notice the mind begin to wander at some point, and if it does, that's perfectly natural. Try not to react to any thoughts. Just see if you can notice them, acknowledge them, and just become the observer of them. We don't need to react, we don't need to respond. Keep gazing without blinking if you can, and just notice what's going on. So you might notice things begin to shift or highlight different things. Quite often when I practice this I begin to see a spectrum of rainbow colours within the flame. And when you reach that point again if the eyes want to naturally close please do let them and picture the image of the flame within the mind. If the eyes begin to shed a tear, that's a good thing. That's the eyes cleansing themselves. Become aware of the body again and see if you can soften. And if the eyes gently close, just let them. Once again, picturing the image within your mind. Focusing on the third eye that energy centre in the centre of your brow. Keep focusing and concentrating on that image until it naturally disappears once again. So just allow yourself to be here in this stillness. Allow yourself to breathe, allow yourself to observe. When the image disappears within the mind, simply blink the eyes open again. And you can keep going with this, you can take longer with this, but just for the sake of the video today, I'm going to end the practice there. So if you're with me, just allow yourself to remove your eyes 
from that focal point, from that flame. Maybe just looking around or blinking a few times. And again, if you need to loosen off through the shoulders, through the face or the neck, please do. Well, let's rub the palms of the hands together, stirring up some fresh energy and potentially a little bit of heat within the palms of the hands. We're going to take a long, slow and steady breath in. And exhale, covering the eyes with the palms of the hands. Just take a moment there, blinking the eyes open. And then slowly releasing the hands from the face. I'm going to draw the hands in a prayer position, Anjali Mudra, in front of the heart centre. And I would like to say thank you very much for participating in this candle gazing Tritaka mindful meditation. Um, so mindfulness has many, many benefits, which do include helping us to focus and concentrate better. And it can also help to relieve the symptoms of depression. I will list in the description of this video specific benefits of Tritaka, our candle gazing meditation. Feel free to try it in your own time and please do come back and leave some comments in just in the comments below. Let me know how it was for you. And you're very welcome to join us again. This is session 10. This is practice 10 of our Mindfulness Mondays. We have got just two more left. So thank you very much for joining me here today and I'm sending you all of my love. Bye for now.